There have been a number of North Korean missile tests. North Korea has also fired a number of short-range missiles into the Sea of Japan. In what have been interpreted as political gestures. As of the 20th of March 2020, North Korea has carried out 147 tests of strategic missiles since its first such test in 1984. 15 were carried out under the rule of Kim Il-sung and 16 under Kim Yong-il. Under Kim Yong-un, 119 tests have been undertaken as of December 2019. It has been three years, 10 months since North Korea's last ICBM test. On February 7, 2016, roughly a month after an alleged hydrogen bomb test, North Korea claimed to have put a satellite into low Earth orbit. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had warned the North to not launch the rocket. And if it did and the rocket violated Japanese territory, it would be shot down. North Korea launched the rocket anyway, claiming the satellite was purely intended for peaceful, scientific purposes. Several nations, including the United States, Japan, and South Korea, have criticized the launch, and despite North Korean claims that the rocket was for peaceful purposes, it has been heavily criticized as an attempt to perform an ICBM test under the guise of a peaceful satellite launch. China also criticized the launch, however urged, the relevant parties, to, refrain from taking actions that may further escalate tensions on the Korean peninsula, while some North Korean pronouncements have been treated with skepticism and ridicule. Analysts treated the unusual pace of North Korean rocket and nuclear testing in early 2016 quite Seriously. Admiral Bill Gottney, head of the North American Aerospace Defense Command, told Congress in March 2016, It's the prudent decision on my part to assume that has the capability to miniaturize a nuclear weapon and put it on an ICBM, suggesting a major shift from a few years earlier. North Korea appeared to launch a missile test from a submarine on April 23, 2016, while the missile only traveled 30 kilometers. One U.S. analyst noted that, North Korea's sub-launch capability has gone from a joke to something very serious. North Korea conducted multiple missile tests in 2016. On August 29, 2017 United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has condemned the latest North Korea ballistic missile launch and termed it as violation of relevant UN Security Council resolutions. As according to press reports, Early Tuesday morning, the North Korea ballistic missile traveled some 2,700 kilometers, flying over Japan before crashing into the Pacific Ocean. On September 3, 2017, North Korea claimed to have successfully tested a thermonuclear bomb, also known as a hydrogen bomb, corresponding seismic activity similar to an earthquake of magnitude 6.3 was reported by the USGS making the blast around 10 times more powerful than previous detonations by the country. Later the bomb yield was estimated to be 250 kilotons. Based on further study of the seismic data, the test was reported to be a perfect success. Indonesian authorities detained the North Korean's second largest cargo ship, the Wise Honest, in April for having been photographed loading what appeared to be coal in North Korea. The ship's automatic identification system signal had been turned off since August 2017, trying to conceal its course. In July 2018 the U.S. Justice Department secured a sealed seizure warrant for the ship. The U.S. seized the Wise Honest in Indonesia under its warrant in May and put it under tow to American Samoa. The Justice Department said it was the first time the United States had seized a North Korean cargo vessel for international sanctions violations. The sanctions are intended, ultimately pressure North Korea to dismantle its nuclear program. Members of the UN Security Council, including UK, France and Germany, condemned North Korea's recent missile launches. The nations urged Pyongyang to resume negotiations, citing the missile launches as violation of UNSC resolutions. On October 2, North Korea confirmed testing a new ballistic missile launched from a submarine and called it a significant achievement towards dealing with external threats and boosting its military power. In December, 
Planet Labs released new satellite images of a factory unit where North Korea develops military equipment used in launching long-range missiles, indicating the construction of a new arrangement. The revelation has raised fear that North Korea might launch a rocket or missile to seek concessions in stagnant nuclear negotiations with the U.S. The vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General John Hyten, said on January 17 that North Korea is building new missiles, capabilities and weapons, as fast as anybody on the planet. He further stated that North Korea is learning from its mistakes while making advances in its missile programs however. Under Secretary of Defense for Policy John Rood later told the House Armed Forces Committee on January 28 that North Korea did not go through